Now, another potential source of revenue could be sitting in the city's warehouses. Last night, Kimberly Gale took you on a tour of one of those buildings. She showed you some of the thousands of historical items that are currently being stored there. But will there ever be a permanent museum to hold all of that history? Kimberly has one idea that's being discussed around City Hall. From pottery to paintings to photographs, Toronto has thousands of historical items stored inside two warehouses. For decades, there's been talk about a permanent public space where visitors could see all of that history up close. In recent years, those talks have been focused on this building, Old City Hall. Completed in 1899, it's now home to some of the city's courtrooms. It's a building that rarely allows cameras inside. It's also a national historic site. And looking at its magnificent main floor, it's not hard to see why. I love this building. The city councillor who represents the ward that includes Old City Hall says the space has potential, but any plan would need funding and political will. There has to be a, a desire uh, at the government level to, to be involved with this type of, of uh, venture. I don't think that would be... Um, uh, you know, practical to write, rely only on private sector investment. Two years ago, the city hired experts to study what it would take to turn this building into a museum. The simplest thing to do would be to build the new high-tech environmental controlled space within the courtyard in a new envelope. Heritage architect Mike McClelland is convinced a successful museum could be created. Anywhere else you travel, uh, you partly learn by institutions like a city museum about the city. The study concluded that retrofitting the building to museum standards would be too costly right now. But Kristen Wong Tam believes it's an idea that shouldn't be shelved forever. The appetite of this particular political administration uh, doesn't seem to want to spend a lot of money. But I also think that there's ways of cost recovery when it comes to putting forth a, a cultural asset. One way or another, the future of Old City Hall will be back on the table in the coming years. The city's lease with the provincial courts expires in 2016. Kimberly Gale, CBC News, Toronto.